Welcome to Flippin' Rejects with me, Shane Luffy. This week, I take an old 1983 rotary phone and turn it into this really cool lamp with a switch that'll blow your mind. Let's see how I did it. This is my first unboxing video. Nah, I'm just kidding. I bought this phone off of eBay. It's a 1983 rotary phone. First thing I'm gonna do with it is take it apart. After I got everything taken out of the inside, I set aside the parts that I didn't need, and I'll use those probably on a future project, but I don't need them for this one. And while we're looking at these pieces, that'd be a good reminder to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I plan on floating this handset about 14 inches above the base of this phone and to do that I'm using this brass tube. I'm using brass because I can bend it easily. Here I'm just forming it into a shape that I'll use to wrap it with the cord from the original phone. Here I'm just taking a scratch pad to scuff it up a little bit and I'm going to paint it to match. Now while that paint dried, I can move on to taking the guts out of this handset. It's pretty easy, just unscrew the caps off of it, pull everything out and cut the wiring. I'm going to drill holes in the handset caps and that's where I'll place my bulbs. I didn't want to mess these caps up, so after I drilled these pilot holes, off camera I went back and re-drilled out all the way through. I ended up drilling out a little bit too wide, so here I am just hot gluing these bulbs in. Once the hot glue dried, I could go ahead and start wiring these up. Here I'm just soldering these connections, and this went really fast. Here I'm using some two-part epoxy to hold that brass bar into the base of this handset. Once that dried, I could secure it to the inside of this phone. With that on, I could wrap the original cord around it to make it look like the phone cord is holding this phone up. I think that turned out really well. All right, so I got everything kind of wired up just as a test and uh, I'm gonna try it out for the first time. So this little LED light will turn on. That'll be the function of the lamp. I'm using an Arduino Nano and not very good at Arduino, so this may or may not work. Um, it's plugged into this five volt relay, which is gonna control the signal from the Arduino to turn the light on. All this is wired in together. This, the Arduino needs to be powered. So uh, instead of running two wires to it, I'm using this kind of wall charger thing to transfer the 120, uh, 120 to down to five volts to be able to power the Arduino itself. And there's my rotary dialer. And so when I dial the right number, very specific number, I'm not gonna give it away just yet. This light should turn on, stay on 
functioning as a lamp of this phone. So here we go. Let's see if it works. Boom! Uh, okay. Well, it's supposed to stay on, so gotta figure that out and check in on my code. See what I did wrong, so. It's progress. I reached out to a local robotics group and my buddy Andy got back with me and he was a huge help in this process. And once we got the code right, all I had to do was put this thing back together. Now it's not pretty on the inside, but it works. And here's a little clue of what number you have to dial to turn this lamp on. Little eight six seven five three zero nine. Thank you all for watching the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. nice out here. Good one. Oh, look at that boat over there. Oh, hey, uh, just uh, out here enjoying the lake with this rotary phone lamp you guys just watched me build. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you really like it, hit that bell. You'll get a notification every time I take another item and flip it into something awesome. Y'all go out and have a great day and try and make something awesome. I'm working on my tan out here. Making sure the sock line is right. Take that, Grant Alexander. <laughs>